now, but just ask them. I'm here talking about Mia Copa okay. on February twenty third, and that's what I'm most excited about right now. I think that. Like that, that's that, and that, yeah, and I'm <laughs> Not Beyonce and Kelly Rowland getting into a messy feud. Kelly has been on a press tour for a hot minute now to promote her up and coming movie, Mea Copa, with Tyler Perry. But she is sick and tired of people constantly talking about Beyonce when they're interviewing her. Well, she finally had enough on the Today Show a couple of days ago and walked off set because they wouldn't stop talking about Beyonce. And word on the streets is that Beyonce felt like Kelly was being shady by walking walking off and refusing to talk about her. Well, the streets are saying that Beyonce is now throwing some shade at Kelly, accusing her of being jealous and trying to use her name to create drama to promote her new movie. Yeah, y'all, looks like the girlies are fighting and things do not look good between these two. Um, is Beyonce really trying to steal Kelly's shine too? Kelly exited the show not because of a dressing room, but because of the questioning that she experienced from Savannah Guthrie during an earlier interview. Savannah insisted on asking Kelly about Beyonce and the new country album. So word on the street, Kelly has her publicist say to whoever is interviewing her, don't ask me about Beyonce, don't ask me about Destiny's Child or a reunion. Okay, so it looks like there is some sort of tension going on between Beyonce and Kelly Rowland because insiders are now accusing Beyonce of allegedly throwing shade at Kelly and accusing her of being jealous of her success. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what these streets are talking about because Beyonce and Kelly are pretty much sisters. Yes, we know they don't have the same parents or whatever, but Kelly herself has admitted that she has pretty much raised by Beyonce's mom, Miss Tina Knowles. And Kelly joined Destiny's Child in the early 90s, and in 1992, she moved in with Beyonce's family because she had a very messy life at home as a teenager. So yeah, Beyonce and Kelly were besties and they grew up like sisters. They even talk alike and sound the same, but they're two different people, y'all. And after Destiny's Child broke up in 2006, they both started doing their own things. Now it goes without saying that Beyonce is the breakout superstar of the group. She is the celebrity of celebrities, and even your faves fave are all always gag to meet her. I mean, there was literally a nine celebs waiting in line at the Grammys just for a chance to say hi to Beyonce and get a picture. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda understand why Beyonce don't leave her house, cause it all just sounds very stressful. But even though Beyonce has all this success, it doesn't take away from the success of the other Destiny's Child members, Kelly Rowland or Michelle Williams either, because they're all doing well in their own stuff. They've both had successful music careers, but the problem is that people keep comparing Kelly to Beyonce, which is just messy and unnecessary. And it's not just the Destiny's Child ladies that have been compared to Beyonce because even her sister, Solange, struggles with the same thing as well because people just can't seem to let two sisters exist without the comparisons. In her song, God Given Name, Solange opened up about how the comparisons made her feel, saying, I'm not becoming expectations. I'm not her and never will be. Two girls going in different directions, traveling towards the same galaxy. Let my starlight shine on its own. No, I'm not my sister. I'm just my God-given name. Like Solange, Kelly, in fact, has also opened up about how she feels about being compared to Beyonce. And she was honest about her feelings, revealing that in the earlier days, she felt jealous about Beyonce's success after DC disbanded. In her song, Dirty Laundry, she said, when you're soaked in your tears for years, it never airs out. When you make pain look this good, it never wears out. While my sister was on stage, killing it like a mother effer. I was enraged, feeling it like a mother effer. Bird in a cage, you would never know what I was dealing with. Went our separate ways, but I was happy she was killing it. Bittersweet, she was up, I was down. No lie, I feel good for her, but what do I do now? Forget the records, off the record. I was going through some BS. Post survivor, she on fire. Now who wanna hear my BS? Well at the time, based on this song, she felt super envious of Beyonce's success. And if we're being honest, who wouldn't? Beyonce had an insane blow up and glow up after Destiny's Child and nobody was able to touch her. Her first solo album, Dangerously In Love, was released while she was still part of DC and it sold more than 300,000 copies in the first week and debuted at number one on Billboard Hot 200. On the other hand, Kelly's debut solo album, Simply Deep, which was released a year before Dangerously In Love, sold 77,000 copies and wasn't able to reach the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 200. 100, only peaking at number 12 for a debut solo album that wasn't bad once Beyonce dropped Dangerously 
in love, fans immediately started to compare both women. And well, I think y'all can figure out how that played. But despite the previous jealousy, Beyonce and Kelly have remained super close over the year, at least in public. They still have the bestie energy, and to the public eye, things appear to be all good between them. However, it looks like there might still be some drama going on behind the scenes, because the streets are now saying that there is allegedly some tension between the two women, because Kelly walked off the set of the Today Show because the interviewers kept bringing up Beyonce. Now this drama went down a couple of days ago, but at first there was a lot of misinformation going around, like Page Six, who reported that Kelly, who was booked to be a co-anger of the Today Show, left in a huff because she didn't like her dressing room and it was too small. And there were also some claims that Kelly dropped out at the 11th hour because her dressing room wasn't up to par, and she left Hoda scurrying to find a replacement. Yeah, Page Six said, Kelly and her team were not happy, they did not like the dressing room, so they decided to pull her off the show, leaving Coda without a guest host for the 10 a.m. hour. Roland was on the show to promote her new Tyler Perry produced Netflix movie Mea Copa, in which she stars and is also a producer. Roland's abrupt exit left Today Insiders perplexed because she's beloved at Today. She was getting the full hour and Hoda's the biggest type woman on the planet. It made no sense. Well, from the way they told the story, they kind of made Kelly out to be a diva who had to have the best of the best at all times, and everybody needed to get out of her way and please her. I'm not gonna lie, this was kind of shocking because that's not the Kelly we know. I mean, sure, she better have some standards, but in the more than 30 years since she's been in the industry, we have never heard one complain about her being a diva. She ain't no diva! Because people who have met her always talk about how she's so sweet and nice and kind. So to hear this fake news about her walking off the set because of the dressing rooms was very surprising. But multiple people who worked on the Today Show insisted that she got upset because of the tiny dressing rooms, and she insisted that she was switched to a bigger and nicer dressing room, asking about a green room that was upstairs and was bigger. However, she was informed that the room was already taken by Jennifer Lopez, who had arrived on set earlier than Kelly and was on the show to promote her up and coming album This Is Me Now and her upcoming movie The Greatest Love Story Never Told. An insider tried to explain why Kelly's dressing room was so small, saying, Dressing rooms at today are known to be some of the smallest in the TV industry, practically glorified closets. They're not nice. It's the oldest building. There are major space limitations. It's not glamorous. It's not fresh flowers, candles, and gourmet food. It's basically a white box. The insider also claimed that the producers tried to find multiple alternatives for Kelly, but she still wasn't happy with them, and she walked off the set. Luckily, Rita Orr was on set and was happy to fill in as Kelly's replacement. Now, we did see the pictures of the dressing rooms, and they were tiny and definitely offensive, but still, a lot of people felt like Kelly wasn't being gracious, especially since the producers tried to find other options for her. But hold on, people who spilled the tea about her acting out because of the dressing room were lying out the side of their neck and trying to protect the show because Kelly is now telling her side of the story. And as it turns out, it had nothing to do with the dressing room and everything to do with her feeling disrespected. According to an insider, the story about the dressing room was allegedly put out by the team on the Today Show to save face because they knew they were at fault. The insider said, the story was spun that Kelly didn't like her dressing room, but she has been on the Today Show numerous times. She and her team know the dressing room setup. That would not come as a surprise at all. Kelly was upset about Savannah's aggressive questioning about Beyonce. She and her team were not happy and felt disrespected. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kelly has a rule in advance when she does interviews. She doesn't want interviewers to ask her about Beyonce. And before y'all start calling her a hater or anything like that, it's actually a very good reason behind it. Y'all know that Beyonce doesn't do interviews. So when Kelly goes on shows, they're always trying to get her to dish on Beyonce to the point where they ignore Kelly. Kelly, and whatever she went on the show to interview and promote in the first place. They make it all about Beyonce, and Kelly is sick and tired of that, rightfully so. Now, she had the same agreement with the Today Show, and everything was put in place. She was on the show to promote her new show with Tyler Perry, Mea Copa. But for some reason, the host kept pushing her about Beyonce and her up-and-coming Renaissance Act 2 album. What do you think about your friend Beyonce? She's like your sister. You guys literally grew up together. She's stepping into country. I'm so proud of were, her. I know, but were you surprised and what do you think about it? I'm so proud of her. Yeah. So happy for her. 
Yeah, it's incredible. Now, Kelly was being very gracious, but I get why it's so frustrating for her because this has been happening over and over again since Beyonce became Beyonce. And especially while she's been on the run for Mea Copa because interviewers keep ignoring the movie and pressing her about Beyonce's renaissance too. Oh my gosh, what do you think when you look at that? That I mean, was so long ago, I am 43 now. I gotta tell you, you're ageless, absolutely oh, gorgeous. You. We love, are you gonna have new music by the way? I am, I'm working on new music. Tell me about that. That's all I can tell you is that I'm oh, working on new music. Okay. All right, I like it, I'll take it. We'll take Thank a little you. teaser. What do you think about your friend Beyonce? Like for real, I'm gonna need these interviewers to get it together and start acting like professionals because clearly Kelly was fed up. She's trying to check them and put them in their place. Just ask them. I'm here talking about Mia Copa okay. on February 23rd, hey, and that's what I'm most excited about right now. I think that like that that's that, and then yeah, and I'm. <laughs> Now she said what she said and that's on period. But hold up because some people are now claiming that Beyonce allegedly feels the type of way about Kelly walking off the set because they brought up Beyonce's name. The insider claimed that Beyonce feels like Kelly's old feelings of jealousy and insecurity might be creeping up again, which she finds ridiculous because she has been nothing short of a support towards Kelly and she even attended the premiere of Kelly's film. This is a big deal because Beyonce does not go outside. <laughs> And fans also couldn't help but notice that Kelly wasn't at the launch of Beyonce's secret line, which is weird considering that half of the industry was invited. So yeah, fans are now convinced that there might be some kind of tension going on between the two women. And fans have left comments saying, please stop asking Kelly Rowland about Beyonce in her interviews. That lady didn't sit down with y'all to discuss what Beyonce has doing. Stop asking Kelly Rowland about Beyonce. I think it's highly disrespectful at this point because it's clear she's doing her own thing and it makes her uncomfortable. I feel like these interviewers are purposely doing it to her now. And I think it's disrespectful and unprofessional for journalists to constantly ask Kelly Rowland about Beyonce, especially when she's trying to do press and have her moment as an actress. But what do y'all think about this? You heard the song? Is Kelly really still jealous or do you think that she has a right to stand on business? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out the next video.